Hello guys, Hergam16 here and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of um, Unity to make my own open world um, shooter game. A little bit like Rust, um, more like uh, open world Call of Duty style thing though. Um, just a little bit like Rust, I'll have a couple of the building aspects of it. So basically, if you're wanting to follow along with us, you will need Unity. So just fog in as I'll go onto the website. It's unity3day.com. Uh, this is the current website layout. It does change quite a lot. Uh, just press Get Unity. It'll open up the page. Uh, scroll down. Um, I'm just using the personal. You can pay for all of these versions, um, except for Enterprise. I think for that one you have to um, uh, work for Unity or a different company, and then that company obviously allows you to get it. So blah blah blah. Then you'll click Get Install or wait for a download. It'll take a while to download. Um, Unity, unless you um, have a really, really powerful computer. I've got a really bad computer. Um, so basically, once it's finished installing and you've opened up Unity, just press new. Um, and I'm just going to call this. Since it's um, this kind of game, I'm going to say. That'll be the name of my game. Uh, just select a place that you want to install it. Um, don't do any asset packages. It probably will uh, take a while to um, start up the actual Unity engine. So I'm just going to click um, Create It Now. Okay, so just a few details of what I'm using to record this. This is brand new um, that I use. Um, it's a free recorder. Um, I might leave a link for it. It was just something that I quickly searched up online um, because my OBS studio wasn't working and I downloaded another one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, that wasn't working either. So you need will be opening up in a minute. So we'll just wait for it. Um, it will keep opening up these box. Don't worry, it's just um, like opening up all the files that you need. <coughs> uh, so mainly this episode will just be getting started, actually setting up the scene so that you can move around um, and actually making a little bit of terrain. As this series goes on, I will be explaining the story that I have in mind for this game, because it'll be an online multiplayer thing which you can do little missions together. So yeah. So it'll open up. Um, as I say, my computer is really slow, so it will uh, be quicker for some. Might be way slower for others. Um, depending on how good your computer is. Mine's only 2.2 gigahertz uh, CPU power inside of it looking to get a new computer because it is a little bit knackered anyway so basically once it's loaded in I'm just going to delete the main camera because we're not going to be using that um, and I'm going to in this in fact no I'll explain the actual thing so basically to the left here you'll have your hierarchy that'll have everything in the scene view to the right here you'll have the inspector if you click on um, something in the hierarchy or in the scene, um, it'll come up with all the details in here. Obviously, you can see everything that's um, in the scene in this box here. Down here is all your assets imported into this game. Um, it doesn't have to be in this specific scene, it will just be whatever you place down here in the entire thing. Console, we'll come back on to that uh, later because it's mainly for coding. Um, I've not found any other use really, if, unless you've used a little bit of code. Uh, we'll be on to that later on in the series. Animation, uh, we'll probably not be doing very much of this in this series, because um, some of the time I will be doing this off camera. Next to the scene view, you'll have your camera. Obviously there's no camera in the scene because I've deleted it. 
Uh, so this will basically be the display um, when I put the character on or if I put another camera in to the scene it will display what it, what it would look like here. Asset store. Um, um, this basically has assets. You can buy them um, for wait. Right, some of them are pretty pricey. Some of them you can just get for free. Uh, we'll probably not be working too much with the asset store. Um, so yeah, if you don't have any of these windows, uh, just click this bar at the top, and it'll have all of the windows. And then just drag them around. Um, I can literally drag the animation up here if I wanted to. Or even drag it into a completely separate window. Woo, I don't know what I've done there. Like that. Completely separate window. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do first is um, in this project box, I'm just going to right click, import package, environment. And I just wait for that to load. As I say, my computer is really slow, so it will take a while for some of this to happen. Um, and I don't really want to pause it, to be fair. You know what, I'll pause Okay, so when it's um, loaded, it will come up with something um, like this in the corner. Uh, this will have everything that is in um, this package. Uh, this has got all of our ground textures and some trees and stuff. This will be pretty useful throughout the series, so just uh, click import. Make sure everything's ticked. Um, I'll pause it again. Okay, so it's now imported. Um, if it will let us go back into the Unity window, I'll just have to minimize it. Um, so basically here it's got the standard assets um, file, if it lets in. The standard assets file is literally everything that um, the Unity imp uh, engine imports um, for you. So everything that you import through this um, box here will go into there unless it's your own packages, although you can track them in. So basically what we're going to do to start with um, is go game object. 3D because it's a 3D game and click terrain. And that is coming up there. If I right click and drag, um, you can see my scene. And um, just click on this paintbrush on the inspector, edit, um, add texture, then click here. And then I'm going to scroll down and get this gra grass hill texture. There we go. And I am going to make it. Um, I can't remember if it's small or bigger, but I'm going to do 30 by 30. Nope, that's bad. So if it if it's wrong, just uh, press Edit Textures um, Add Texture. I'm just going to make it. Oh god, no, not Add Texture. Edit Texture. Yeah. All right, Edit Texture. So then this will just like show you what happened. I'm going to do it five by five, and then just press Play. Okay, so um, in this position. I know that this terrain is a thousand by a thousand, I believe. So what I'm going to do to make it in the center is I'm going to uh, make it 500, no, minus 500. No, must be 500 uh, wide, uh, 250. Um, and then Z just minus 250. There we go. Now if I look. I am now directly in the centre. So now that we've done this, um, for now, um, to start with, I'm just going to right click. Import package and characters. My computer will be going a little bit slower simply because I am recording. Um, so. 
Oh, let me just pause it. I think I'll pause it. Just for you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing. Press import. Just wait for it import. So I'll just pause it again quickly. Just to remind you what to do, that's all. Okay, so it's just finished importing the characters. So basically, um, to actually get the characters um, thing into the game, because if I go into the game view now, nothing's displaying here. When you do that, it doesn't actually import it into the scene. So what you want to do is go into standard assets. You need to go into characters, first person, prefabs, and just do this FPS controller. The left, the one at the far left. And just drag it into the scene where you want it. Right, this one, if I play it now, obviously you can see in the scene view, um, but if I play it now, I'm just going to fall through the terrain. Oh no, it doesn't. It must have patched it. Uh, what it used to do is, because um, I've literally just installed the update, I can't remember when, I don't know when they fixed it. Might have just been doing it for the sake of it. Um, but um, basically, um, if um, the character wasn't above the ground, um, um, basically it would fall through the terrain and just keep falling. So just in case there's any bugs, I'm just going to drag it up, because I don't want that to happen. Okay, that'll be far enough. So now that we've got that, um, obviously in game view it's all right. Um, basically, um, we've basically set up the game as playable. You can build it, etc. But I'm not going to build it because it'll take up storage on my computer. And obviously, it's going to work. Um, it's got a basic game. It's got all the things it needs to run. So yeah. So before I end this video, because um, the first few videos are probably going to be really short, is um, I'm just going to show you how to save the scene, and then in the next video we are going to make the main menu, which will make which will need which we will need to make new scene. So basically, to save the scene, all you have to do is go file, save scene as. Um, and you don't even have to move location, but I'm just going to make a new folder. This um, this file that will automatically put you in will be this game. I'm not sure if you can save it anywhere else outside of it. It'll probably break something, so I wouldn't try it. I'm just going to do scenes. Wait. There we go. I'm just going to go into that file. Um, and I'll just call it map. Like that. So now um, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. In the next video, we will be doing the main menu, um, hopefully, setting it up properly. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.